Hey there, friends. It's Pharmacist Michael. Let me ask you something. What if I told you there's a natural plant-based compound, a so-called plant steroid, that may help boost muscle mass and performance without messing with your hormones like anabolic steroids do? Sounds like hype, right? Well, today we're diving into a compound called ecdysterone, also known as beta ecdysone. And whether this natural muscle builder actually lives up to its hype, or if it's just another gym shelf dust collector. So let's get into it. Is it a steroid? A supplement? A bug hormone? Let's clear up the confusion. All right, first things first, what the heck is ecdysterone? Ecdysterone, also called beta ecdysone, is part of a group of compounds called ecdysteroids. These are hormones found in insects and plants, and yes, they do help bugs grow and molt. But don't worry, you're not turning into a butterfly if you take it. The kind we use for supplements typically comes from plants like spinach or Sciotus vega, and it's often marketed as a natural anabolic agent. Something that supports muscle protein synthesis, strength, and lean body mass. It's totally non-hormonal, meaning it doesn't affect testosterone or estrogen levels, which is a huge reason it's getting attention in the natural bodybuilding world. Can it really help build muscle without messing with your hormones? Here's how it might work. Ecdysterone seems to act on something called the estrogen receptor beta, but without causing estrogenic effects. Instead of boosting testosterone, it might directly stimulate muscle protein synthesis, possibly by activating the PI3K, AKT signaling pathway, the same pathway triggered by resistance training and some anabolic steroids. So what you're getting is a muscle building signal without the side effects you'd expect from hormonal manipulation, like shrinking testes, hair loss, or mood swings. It's not fully understood, but animal and cell studies show it could enhance muscle cell growth, improve nitrogen retention, and help the body recover faster after intense training. Hype is one thing, evidence is another. So, what does the science actually say? All right, let's talk about the research. And yes, there is some human data here. A 2019 study from the Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition tested ecdysterone in athletes over 10 weeks. The group supplementing with 200 milligrams daily had significantly more muscle growth and strength than the placebo group even outperforming some results you'd expect from mild anabolic steroids. Now that raised some eyebrows. In another earlier Russian study, ecdysterone was compared to anabolic steroids in animals. And again, it showed muscle building properties without liver toxicity or hormonal disruption. But, and here's the honest truth, these studies are small and there's not a huge pile of human trials just yet. So while the data is promising, it's not definitive. Still, the early evidence does suggest ecdysterone might give you a modest edge when it comes to lean mass and performance, especially if you're training hard and eating right. So why are people turning to this plant steroid instead of traditional supplements? Let's break down the potential benefits people report and what research backs up. Increased muscle protein synthesis, improved lean body mass, faster recovery from workouts, better strength gains over time, no suppression of natural testosterone, and low toxicity and a good safety profile. There's also some interest in ecdysterone for fat loss, though that hasn't been studied nearly as much. One of the big draws is that it may give you performance benefits without hormonal side effects, which is a major plus for natural athletes, aging lifters, 
or anyone cautious about their endocrine health. Sounds great so far, but what about the downside? Let's talk about side effects, because even natural doesn't always mean safe. Fortunately, ecdysterone appears to be very well tolerated. In studies and real-world use, most people don't report any significant side effects. No liver toxicity, no hormonal suppression, no mood or libido changes. Some users report mild digestive issues like upset stomach or gas, usually when taking high doses or on an empty stomach. A few folks say it caused headaches or sleep disturbances, but this is pretty rare. Long-term safety hasn't been fully established since studies are limited, but so far, it looks like a low-risk supplement when taken in reasonable doses. How much do you need, and what should you take it with? Most supplements use doses between 200 and 500 milligrams daily, and that matches the human studies where muscle gains were observed. A typical dose is 200 milligrams once or twice daily, often taken before a workout or with food. Some users cycle it doing eight weeks on, four weeks off, although cycling isn't strictly necessary since it doesn't affect hormones. You'll often see a dysterone stacked with creatine for added strength, L-leucine to enhance protein synthesis, tricasterone, another ecdysteroid with similar effects, and beta-alanine or citrulline for endurance and pumps. Always choose high-quality sources, ideally standardized to 95% purity or higher, and avoid cheap blends that don't list exact ecdysterone content. So is ecdysterone the real deal or just another overhyped supplement? Here's my honest take as a pharmacist. Ecdysterone is one of the most promising natural performance supplements we've seen in recent years. It has early science, minimal side effects, and a unique mechanism that could genuinely support muscle growth without touching your hormones. Will it turn you into a beast overnight? Nope. But if you're already training hard, eating clean, and looking for a safe legal edge, it might just be worth trying. Just keep expectations realistic. Supplement support, they don't replace the fundamentals. And as always, talk to your doctor or pharmacist before starting anything new, especially if you have health conditions or take medications. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more no-hype pharmacist-approved health tips. And if you've tried ecdysterone, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experience. Until next time, be happy and be healthy.